G'day guys, I want to talk to you guys about six products that have stood out to me recently. Some of them are good, some of them are not. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. G'day guys, welcome to Yena Beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig. And today I want to talk to you about six products, as I previously said before. Uh, I do have to say though, if you can hear music or children in the background, I do have to apologise. Uh, but this video is called Yeah Nah Beauty Reviews and it pretty much is what you think it is. It's basically like hits and shits, but my version, right? So I have six products today, four of them are hits and two of them are shits, really. And you know, you might be a little bit surprised, but I wanted to start off with telling you that um, the four, I guess, hero products that I have today, two of them are hair masks and two of them are lip balms. And um, yeah, I think I think you'll find them quite interesting because they quite vary in prices, but I, I think they're absolutely fantastic. So the first thing I wanted to talk to you guys about today is Function of Beauty. Now, if you've been on YouTube, you would have heard about this stuff all over the place. Um, I tried to put off getting this. I just thought it was one of those things that everybody was endorsing because, I don't know, they got some sort of kickback or whatever. Um, but I wanted to try some hair masks. I have really, really particularly fussy hair. And, uh, yeah, so I thought I'd give this guy... Uh, a try considering I didn't think that the price was too crazy. Um, this is my own special concoction. Um, there is a few questions that they'll ask you if you do intend on buying some of this, you know, whether you got wavy hair, straight hair, uh, combination, you know, dry hair, oily hair, etc, etc, your favourite scents, what you're trying to achieve with your hair, and um, and what colour you like, and at the end of it, um, they'll send you out this with whatever you decide to put on there. Mine is Function of Tanya. I'm not sure if you're even going to be able to see that, but that's irrelevant. That's just like a little bit of a gimmicky, you know, feel good kind of thing. Um, what I want to tell you about this is, I mean, obviously this one is suited to my hairstyle, uh, what I think my hairstyle is and what it needs. And um, I have picked, I can't even remember the scent. What did I pick? Mm, I picked pear. Now, ordinarily, I don't like pear, but I wasn't a fan of some of the other scents that they had on there. And I went with medium um, strong scent, and I'm glad I picked the medium because for medium, this is really, really strong. But you know what? I'm not. I'm not upset about it. I really, really love this. This feels amazing in my hair while I'm using it. It's going to last me a very, very long time. I think, I don't recall how much I spent. I think, yeah, there we go. This was $39. Um, this is 222 mils. And I think that's pretty darn good. Um, like I said, this is going to last me a long time. I only use this once a week. You probably could use it more, but I don't need to. And do you know what I really love about this? It's going to sound stupid, all right, but... I get used to the smells on my body, like, uh, <laughs> that sounded bad, like, you know, shampoos and conditioners, I adapt over time and I can't smell it anymore. And I remember going down the street sometimes or being at a party and somebody else would walk past and I could smell their hair and I'm like, oh my god, how come my hair doesn't smell like that, right? With this, I noticed I was cooking the other day and like, like I said, I can smell it when I'm using it and sometimes I get a whiff of it with the wind, um, but I was cooking dinner the other day and I'd used this and... Um, my hair had dried and it had been probably about six hours or so since um, I'd used this. And the hot, uh, well, the heat that came out of the oven just hit my hair and all I could smell was this. And it just, I don't know, it, it gave me feel-good vibes. And I like that. And, um, yeah, I mean, I've tried a lot of hair masks before, but they're usually really overly perfume-scented, which doesn't work for me at all. Uh, so I really do enjoy this and my hair absolutely loves this too. My hair the next day looks fabulous, feels fabulous. So I'm definitely going to continue using these guys. I mean, I'm going to splash out and try some other things too, obviously, because, you know, I like to try new things. But this really, really is special, guys. And for $39 and it's going to last probably the whole year, I don't think you can really go wrong. So if you want to try some hair masks and you're sick of the ones that you can get, like, you know, in your regular department stores or whatever, give this guy a try and um, and see what it works, how it works for you. Anyway, I want to move on to another hair mask. Now this one is, um, um, give me a minute because uh, some of it's in another language, so I've got to be careful. Um, this is the Christopher Robin Regenerating Mask with Rare Prickly Pear Seed Oil. Now this is a little sample. This is my second sample. I've been very, very lucky because this guy is really nice. It's really, really nice and my hair absolutely loves this too. But unlike the um, Function of Beauty, which don't get me wrong, I love this too, um, this guy's not cheap. This is, for a larger one of these, a full size, which is roughly, roughly around about the same size as this, give or take 20 mils. Um, 
the, the same size version of this, but this is $93 at Sephora. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't pay full price. Like, like, I love this, but I've received these as samples. I've been very, very lucky, and there's no way in hell that I would pay $93 for a hair mask, even if it did last 12 months. And I know that sounds like I'm a real tight ass, but it is what it is. And, um, you know, I, I, I love them both, right? If you had to tell me that it, price didn't matter, which one would I want to use for the rest of my life? I, you, well, I couldn't pick between these two. They are very, very good. Um, I like the scent of the uh, Function of Beauty one better. Uh, this one has more of a... Hmm, I don't know how to explain it, but it's not baby powder, but it's got that powderish sort of baby powder, I want to say upper class, mature kind of scent to it. I really don't know. Um, maybe it says somewhere on here uh, what the scent is, but I wouldn't be able to tell you. Anyway, it's not horrible. I actually really enjoy this. And this slips through the hair and makes you feel very, very expensive. Um, <laughs> and so it should for $93 for a bloody jar. But, you know, that all things aside, forget about the cost. That This product is wonderful. It really, really is wonderful. It does everything that it says that it's going to do. And that's what you want at the end of the day. And if you're comfortable spending that kind of money on something like this, great. If not, then spend it on something like this. Either way, guys, you're not going to go wrong picking this or this. They are both absolutely lovely. This one, a little bit more gimmicky because you can, you know, you can pick your own scent. You can pick your own color. You can pick your own little slogan on here. This is fun, right? And this is more like luxurious, sort of like queen, you know. Um, but they are both fabulous and I definitely recommend both of them. So that's why they're both yes. <laughs> Let's move on to the two lip balms, right? I will get to the NARS at the end. Um, I just want to talk about good stuff right now, right? So um, I was recommended a long time ago because my lips are always messed up. I was recommended the Mario Badesco lip balm. Um, looks like a basic lip balm but it, it's fabulous like I like I will put this on every single night uh, before I go to sleep and my lips feel fantastic the next day and sometimes I even have some leftover like I wear it more like a lip mask than I do a lip balm but you could wear it during the day too it is very very luxurious it smells nice I couldn't tell you what the smell smells like coconut actually like but not like like in your face coconut kind of like milky coconut but this is absolutely fabulous. I got this from, give me a minute, I got this from uh, Mecca. Um, I haven't got the price on here. Hmm. I'm sure it can't cost that much. I'm sure, I'm pretty sure it was $11. Hang on. I'll either confirm on the screen, but I'm pretty sure this bad boy was $11. And whilst I normally only like to spend about 4 or $5 on a lip balm, I don't mind spending $11 on this, to be quite frank with you. It is lovely. I love it in my handbag. I prefer it over a stick. I don't know why, but whatever. Anyway, this is absolutely fabulous, and I definitely will buy this again. However, ooh, it's got a contender that I can get from the store uh, locally. It's half this price and it is wonderful too and that is the dermal therapy lip balm with enriched pawpaw uh, soothing and moisturizing this I can get from chemist warehouse for five dollars fifty and this is fabulous as well this is uh, the formulas are definitely different um, but not that much like I think the only real difference between these two is this one's a little bit thicker so this is a thinner one but it still stays on the lips for a very very long time and like I said it can still be there in the morning you definitely get um, hydrated lips using the Mario Badesco you can't go wrong with that but if you don't want to spend the $11 on that and you want to go half that price this is fabulous too a little bit thicker definitely wonderful same results can't tell you what the scent is it's not coconut though, so I guess if you don't like coconut, definitely go with this one. This one's a little bit more sweeter, like when I put it on my lips, I can taste just a slight bit of sweetness. But I don't know what that is. Um, yeah, 
I can't tell you much more. Like, I can't tell you, you know, whether they're vegan or anything like that. I think you're going to have to look up that yourself. I can't be bothered. Um, <laughs> apologies. But, yes, yeah, so those are my four hero products. They're my four yes products. Let's get on to the two nah products. So I don't have them with me. I've left them in my bathroom, which is whatever. But the first thing I want to talk to you about is the Bang & Body Firming Lotion. I'll put a picture right here for you. Um, look, I heard a lot of good reviews with this, and the reason why I didn't want to buy it is because personally I felt like it was a little bit too expensive. Uh, I looked at a lot of reviews of this product, and it was a 50-50 to be honest with you. 50% um, of the people said they absolutely loved this, it was their ride or die, that the scent was delicious and you can't go wrong. The other 50% said that the scent was absolutely repulsive, they don't know how anybody likes it, and that it was too expensive for the amount that you get in the tube. I looked at the tube, I looked at it in people's hands on videos and stuff like that to compare the size. It looks massive and when you get it in the mail, it's a decent size, you know, it's pretty big. Um, but then when I started using it, like I, I first put it in my hand and it, it is really, really tropical, right? Um, I didn't know how I felt about it. I was starting to put it on my skin and like the first, my first impression was, oh, I like that smell. And then when I put it on my skin and it was there for a couple of minutes, I was like, mm, do I really like this smell? I'm not sure now. I'm starting to feel a little bit repulsed, right? So, um, I don't know. It kind of smells like a mango smoothie, um, with some other sort of tropical fruits in there. Uh, maybe some pineapple juice. I don't know. But yeah, I don't know how I feel about this. I, I, I've got mixed emotions when it comes to the scent. One minute I like it, one minute I don't. The price is, uh, let me see, what did I pay for it? I paid $48 for the 150ml tube, which looks great, right? But if you are someone my size, you know, um, size 16, 18-ish, and you know, you've, you've got the curves, there's a lot of real estate to cover, you know? Um, you know, I've got some chunky areas that take quite a lot of moisturizer, and this is kind of like a thicker one. Um, it's not it's not like a lotion where you can get a lot of um, bang for one pump and, and do one entire arm. Like, I'll do a squirt, and uh, yeah, it just doesn't go far. So two goes of this tube, like uh, two days of using this um, firming lotion, and I've already used half a tube, and I'm like... Mm, so I'm starting to think now that I'm going to have to use this stuff on just targeted areas, like small targeted areas, and I just don't really know if it's worth it, because to be honest with you, I'm not really seeing results, um, which is disappointing. So, yeah, I'm putting that on a nah, because the price, the smell, the amount um, per cost, I don't know. I don't, I just don't think it's worth it, to be honest with you. Um, and that's just me, and like I said, you might absolutely love this product, but for me, it's definitely a no-go, so. Anyway, let's move on to my last product, my last NAR product, and my last product for this entire video is the uh, Face Halos. Um, so you might have seen them in stores. I've been avoiding buying these for a very, very long time because I just thought to myself, they can't be that great, right? Another thing that is bragged about all over YouTube. <sighs> I ran out of cleansing oil, my favourite cleansing oil, no longer being stocked and I didn't want to waste any more money. I've wasted so much money on cleansing oils that have just done jack shit that I thought, you know what, I'll give this a go because you're supposed to be able to use it with just water and it's supposed to take off all your makeup, including uh, waterproof makeup, blah, 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 right? And yeah, okay, it does. But the biggest problem that I have with it is that there's a lot of tugging on the skin. Like, if you're not going to use a cleanser with these um, these face halos, you're going to do a lot of tugging around delicate parts of your eyes, the most delicate part, um, especially to get off, like, the mascara and the eyeshadow and, yeah. So, yeah, they do work. Um, but I feel like... I could get a better job with just a regular face washer. Right, you can bend these over. It's really difficult to get in the corner of the eyes. So a couple of weeks ago, I decided to put a little bit of highlighter just to brighten up the inner corners of my eyes. And I really couldn't get, um, 
I couldn't get it off with the face halo without kind of irritating my eye or really having to jam it in there. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, this is really inconvenient. If I had a face cleansing oil um, on the go right now, I wouldn't even look at it twice. And $30 for three, $10 each, I just, I feel like they wasted my money. I feel like everyone was talking shit. Yeah, it works, but you know, um, I, I could have grabbed I could have grabbed a cloth, a tea towel on the floor and, and got the same job. You know, a $2 tea towel would have done exactly the same job. That's just my opinion and maybe I'm using it wrong, but I don't see how. I've tried it with hot water, I've tried it with cold water, I've tried it with soap, I've tried it with no soap. Um, I've tried it with <laughs> waterproof makeup, non-waterproof makeup. Hell, I've even tried it with just foundation and like I said, it does work. But I'm getting on in age. Uh, I'm turning 36. This month, actually, and um, I don't want to be tugging and pulling and causing more, you know, wrinkles prematurely on a product like this. It's just a no for me. Um, yeah, maybe for a teenager, um, but still, I'd, I'd probably still suggest a face washer over a face halo. So there you go, guys. Uh, that's pretty much all I've got for you. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, go go ahead, feel free, give me a like, thumbs up, whatever you want. Subscribe if you like. I'd be really appreciative. And um, yeah, I hope you just got something out of this. I mean, don't waste your money if you don't have to. So I don't know, if you can get samples of things, that's my advice. Get samples of things first. Go halves with your girlfriends to get face halos. I mean, honestly, I mean, getting three face halos is great and all, but if you've got two other girlfriends, spend 10 bucks each, get one, figure out if you like it, and then later on down the track you can get some more. You've saved 20 bucks if you don't like it, you know? So, whatever. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there and keep this video as short and sweet as I possibly can, and I really do hope to see you in my next video. Bye.